What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have this Johnny Petraglia LT48, which is $1,000 on eBay, and you can see that right here. And then we also have my garage sale bowling ball that I bought about a year ago, and this one cost me $1. So we're gonna throw them both, see what the difference in performance is, see why this one might be a dollar, why the other one might be $1,000, and let's get into bowling. Are you ready for my $1,000 bowling ball to go down the lane? Coach L does have one of these in his office undrilled. This one was also undrilled. Johnny Petraglia. Smells like rubber. It doesn't hook like rubber though. And then we got our one dollar bowling ball. Carl. Carl's been on the channel before. And that's the difference between $1 and $1,000. The $1,000 bowling ball strikes every single time. Carl was a part of my garage sale bowling balls. I bought them for 10 bucks, a set of three of them. And the first two I bought for 10 and she threw the third one in for free. So it's basically a dollar. It might be zero, who knows? Carl don't hook so much. Strikes every time. Is this the most expensive ball you've ever thrown? Oh yeah, this is easily the most expensive ball. Yeah, this is definitely the most expensive ball I've ever thrown. But my question to you, how much is too expensive for a bowling ball? Because bowling balls are expensive in general, but how, how expensive is too expensive to the point where you would not buy it? <laughs> that ball's not hooking at all. For me, it, it depends on performance. Like, would I would I pay $1,000 for a purple hammer? Yes. I'd probably pay a couple. I wouldn't pay 1000 for a purple hammer if they were selling for 200 But if the price point was at $1,000, would I buy one? No. I'd buy two. Have you met Johnny Petraglia? I have met Johnny Petraglia. The first ever ball video I filmed, I was throwing Parker Bones ball and Johnny Petraglia was filming one right after me and I didn't know who he was. That thing actually looks good. It's like actually making a little bit of a corner down lane. Did you just messenger the uh, eight, eight pin. pin on strings? With a rubber ball? Yeah. It always strikes. All right, we'll see if we can get some hook out of Carl. Psych! Hard and straight. It just feels like I'm throwing spare shots with that ball. If I threw it slow enough, it'll hook. Just gotta give it the right speed. If you did that with the LT48, that was right gutter. <laughs> Probably. Hucking. It doesn't always strike, I guess. Spares are for winners. Spares are for winners. Textbook. I'm gonna move in, slow it down. Carl hasn't touched the head pin. Now that we're halfway through the video, which ball do you think is gonna win, guys? I'm gonna fire it at the head pin next shot. This is gonna be a lineup shot for me, okay? So if I miss the head pin again. Just the tip. Oh, moved too much. Created some carry down. Carter, what's the most you would pay for a bowling ball? I paid $300 for a ball. What ball was it? Black Widow Purple. I also paid $300 for that ball. String pens. I need this, I need Carl to come make a comeback here. There's plenty of room. Carl just doesn't want to do the right thing. I play straight, he hooks, I hook it, he goes straight. I guess the $1 special is pretty appropriately named. I try and throw it straight, it hooks. Was that Carl's fault? I don't yeah, think no, that was Carl's fault. I literally think that was Carl's fault because I was 
I gave it a little bit of hook, expecting it not to hook at all, and then it hooked a bunch. Jesus. All right, Carl, come on now. I'm gonna need to do some strike in here. It might not strike this entire video though. What's the move here? Put those away, save those for later. Maybe Carl can strike once, please. Golly! Shooting blanks on that one. Per usual. What makes a ball worth a thousand dollars? Is it performance? Rarity in this case? Yeah, this one is based on the fact that it's rare. There's probably very, very, very few out there. And I'm the idiot that put holes in it instead of put it in a museum. And we're back. Still got 240 left. If I shoot 240, I'm gonna average 240 for the rest of my career with this ball because it's never going down the lane. One and done, back on the shelf. Just, that ball is just impossible to throw. I got two more frames left to throw a strike. And I'm no closer than I was before. Carl's a spare shooter though, I'll tell you. Johnny's a striker. Bang, bang. That one was a thousand dollars and this one is one dollar. Why is this one one dollar? It's used, because it's old, out of date, not needed. I'm trying. I don't trip six pence. All right, we got 240 left and a win by 100. True value of a $1 bowling ball. Oh, hook. I didn't think I was gonna hook. So Brunswick, if you wanna come back out with the LT48 again, I don't think there'd be a single person mad about it. How'd that smell when you drilled it? It still smells horrible. Give this a sniff. Yeah, All right, now you guys yeah. give it a sniff? That's bad, yeah. Get in there, folks. <laughs> you see somebody do a burnout and then it stinks? Just that, but this bowling ball. Push! All right, it's trick shot time. Matt says I've never done it on the channel before. Done it, you've just never made it. Say less. Say less. It's like, I thought for sure that was a make. It's like 0 for 25 on the channel. I've made a couple of them, okay? Folks, if you can find one that Packy has made in one of send, our old videos. If you can find one in the old video, send it to me, please let me know. Please Because I know, I know I've made at least one. I've spent literally thousands of hours editing footage and I don't ever remember him making it. <laughs> Is this ball gonna strike though? That's money. It's a big no. I need to make it to give myself an opportunity to strike. Oh, you idiot. What I meant was you superstar. That's what I meant. All right, got one shot to strike. What's the move here, anybody? Anybody? Just left off the corner. Off the corner like, and left? Like Dave Traber. I'll go, I'll throw one off the corner for you. I thought I was gonna be playing the same area with both of these balls. Obviously I was wrong. Legend, actual legend, thousand dollars, one dollar. So it turns out the difference between these two bowling balls, one dollar and a thousand dollars is about 60 pence and an infinite more amount of strikes because this one had zero. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for tuning in and as always, if you like what you see, click that subscribe button down below and follow along for more videos like this one.